Hello friends, this is Shah Khan and in this video I am going to tell you how can you create VAT control account and ultimately you can use that VAT control account for the purpose of filing of your VAT return. Actually in QuickBook there is no VAT uh, module or separate, either you have to purchase separate module or uh, you have to play around with this available resources. So we can we will use different accounts to create a VAT control account and that will 100% save you from purchasing uh, additional module. So we'll, you will use that VAT control account uh, technique that I'm going to share with you and you can uh, file your VAT return. So these are the steps. First of all, you have to go to the list, chart of account and create a VAT control account. So here we will create three accounts, VAT control account and then VAT output and VAT input. So the VAT control account will show us our net liability and VAT output minus VAT input will be ultimately the VAT control account. This VAT control account is the VAT net liability or net amount. So we have to create two more accounts, but it is not as simple as it sounds that you will just create a VAT control account and two liabilities accounts. No, it's not me. I will tell you what will constitute for, what will uh, what will technique will you use for creating VAT input account and what technique I will use for VAT output account and then items we have also created. So in short, in summary, I am going to tell you we will create three accounts, VAT control accounts and two sub accounts, VAT output and VAT input. And then items, VAT output items and VAT input items. But how and how we will use it in this in further detail. So once you will create a VAT control account, then go to Edit, Preferences, and go to Sales Tag, Company Preferences, and hit oh, here, Quarterly. And also create Sales Tax Item. I will show you later why I am creating Sales Tax Item. So create Sales Tax Item and use it as VAT. Okay. This is actually the VAT output. So click here 5%. Okay, to whom, which agency you are paying, the, I will write it government, but it depends upon your paying agency, you are paying either to the Ministry of Finance or whoever, the whoever agency it is, you will write the name of that agency over here. Okay, and hit OK. Here you have chose monthly, quarterly or annually, whatever the government procedure is. Here I will select that, select it. So we have two taxable codes, item code taxable, non taxable, hit OK. Then go to list chart of account again. Here you will say sales tax. Actually this, this is I have enabled sales tax payable. Okay. I will go to edit this account and I will make it as that output. Okay, and also I will make it sub account of VAT control account because as I told you I will create a VAT control account and in the under the VAT control account I will create two more accounts VAT output and VAT input. So from where I get VAT output account from the sales tax. This is the technique actually. So here you will write the uh, sales sales uh, sorry VAT on Okay, let's do one more thing. Edit references accounting. Let's enable the use. So this is VAT control account. Let's let's give us twenty five hundred. And let's make it VAT twenty five. So here I have VAT control account and under VAT control account I have VAT output. Similarly, I will create VAT input also. And also make it sub account of VAT control account. So now I have 
VAT control account and under VAT control account I have VAT output, VAT input. So this will show us all the detail of VAT output, VAT on sales. And this will give me all the detail of VAT input, whatever we paid on to our vendor or any other person to whom VAT is, VAT is applicable for services. So VAT control account, under VAT control account, two accounts, VAT output and VAT input. This will show me the net amount of my liability for any particular period of time, it is, either it is quarterly, annually, monthly, whatever is applicable. Now, I have created these three accounts and now one VAT control account, under this VAT control account, two VAT output, VAT input. But this VAT output account has, we have used a trick and we have turned the sales tax as VAT output account. So whatever, so you already know the process how we created it. Now, again, I will go to, sorry, list item list and I will also create two items as well. One item, okay, item, other chart and here it is VAT input any that input we will make it and I will link this account I will link this account with that input account that I have created this liability account that I have created that input okay now here we can see it that okay now we have that input account and this is the that output account VAT output, if you see, VAT input, VAT output. So this was already created when I was enabling this sales tax item and then ultimately I was using as VAT output account. So we have created also two items, VAT input item and VAT output item as well. You already know the process. Now, here we have already we have VAT control account and VAT control account and VAT output item and VAT input item. That's it. Now. Let's see how you will use these items and these uh, accounts and report in different invoices or bills and how you will generate the reports for a particular period of time and you will ultimately use those reports in your return. So, for example, we are creating one invoice. Simple invoice. Let's make it sales We have this invoice. Uh, I I think like the product invoice. Make it. Okay. So okay. You can see here here it has appeared this one. If you have not enabled sales tax or you have not used you are not using this that thing it will not be appearing here it will not appear here but once you have we have done all these thing and five percent and it will automatically here will be appearing here so you can use it here number one secondly as per your VAT requirements there are some VAT specific requirements for the VAT invoice so there should be written VAT invoice there should be the VAT number of them uh, mm, VAT number of the customer and client, how you can amend that VAT invoice and how can you, I, I will make another video for that, but for the time being I will show you, just go to the formatting and customize layout and you can, when you customize it, you can customize your invoice as per your VAT requirement. So not now, so you will write here, so first suppose we are making one invoice to one customer. One two three, okay. So this is our customer. So we have charged him five hundred thousand. So how much that would be five percent? Okay. Now you have to decide. It is either it is taxable. That is applicable or not. Okay. That is applicable. So just click here, and here it is a that output. It is showing that output here. Okay. Hit save. Then suppose you have
let's make two or three more so that we can do it properly. So similarly we will be having two invoices or three invoices. Okay. Now just now and let's make bill. Now this was the VAT output that we were supposed to receive from the client. So then here similarly we also pay VAT also. Now let's enter the bill. Okay, so suppose we have purchased an item. This is our subcontractor, and he done work site one for us for his. He is registered with the VAT also, two thousand five hundred twenty two fifty thousand. To fifteen hundred thousand, okay, to fifty thousand. So also we can charge it as per our normal procedure. To which project you want to charge, you give it whatever number you want to give. And here on this VAT is applicable. So just right select here VAT that item we created. So two fifty one two three. So this is a VAT applicable on this. Okay, also charge it. Just a moment. Okay. Okay. It okay. And uh, that's it. So similarly, you can use this. Now, if you want to get the report, go to chart of account, and here you can see it. This is your VAT control account. So at uh, suppose I have, for the sake of example, I have made only one or two invoices. But obviously, for a particular period of time, you will be having lot of invoices and lot of purchase and sales invoices. So at the end, suppose this is our end of the period, we are supposed to pay net liability here, thirty-five thousand, thirty-seven thousand five hundred. Just right click here, and you will see the here. This is the VAT output. This is VAT input. All the details, and then this is your net amount. So just go to customize here, and uh, whatever change VAT. VAT tax return file whatever. Report. Okay, and save it, memorize it, and you can use in the future. So here you have VAT. A little bit more detail, and then that's it. I just let have a look how it works. What are the general entry behind? Let's see. Just now. Okay, you can see here. Account receivable debit, and uh, income is debited with five hundred thousand and twenty-five thousand is the VAT amount. So if we have invoice five hundred thousand, our income is the total amount that we are supposed to receive from the client is five twenty-five thousand. But 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 this five twenty-five thousand is not our income. So what is our income? Let's see. Our income is five hundred thousand, and this twenty-five thousand, twenty-five thousand is our liability that we are supposed to pay to the government or the whatever the agency is. So, and how much we are supposed to receive from the client? Five twenty-five thousand, fifty thousand in respect of income and twenty-five thousand in respect of VAT. But ultimately, how much we are supposed to get from our client or customer? Five twenty-five thousand. And our income is five hundred thousand, and our liability that we are supposed to pay, we get from the customer, and we are supposed to pay to the government is twenty-five thousand. So, so that's how it works. So this is our VAT output, and this is our VAT input, and this is our net liability for the VAT. Okay. Once it is done, your customer is done. I will say once it's done, your quarterly reports you will use this. And obviously, in a specific format that government says or your agency says, you will put it the data and you will use it for that. Okay. Once it is done, then you are supposed to pay the VAT. So once the payment is done, there is another way around. Also, you can get the reports from here as well. VAT reports. But I will personally suggest that don't use this as payment of VAT. Here, I have not done. Let let me make here. Um, bank account, so I can give you the example. Don't pay here. Once you will see here, okay.
okay don't pay from here i will suggest make a journal entry and in the journal entry i will suggest that in the journal entry i will suggest that hit chart of account in the journal entry when you pay the liability select this account select this account not this account or that account if you will go and use by paying this account then it will be then it will affect because here it's a fail here it is pay sales tax it will hit only your vat output so then uh, if after some times after three or four payments you will uh, if you want to get a detail of vat output it will be a confusing for you so if you make general entry or payment select for the payments select this the parent account vat control account okay one one last thing you can also get these detail of vat here from here also but the best thing is that you just go to chart of account and use this account as and you can use it and play around as per client customer or customer wise client wise whatever go to the reports balance sheet here and from here also you can use this here customer wise client wise vendor wise so you can play around and you will see it whatever you want customer and if one customer whatever so that's how it works so simple is the process so this is some method you can go here one last thing this, this is your web control account and that's how it you can see it thank you very much this will obviously help you for uh, creation of your web control account and this is simple effective and it is 100% effective so no need to go and purchase uh, an additional um, module for vat this will work for you 100% and you can use it and uh, thank you very much just hit the subscribe button so i can release